Exactly. Michaela, residents have been complaining about this extreme case of hoarding in a Koreatown neighborhood for years, and they've been working quickly so far. You can see them here behind me, about a dozen city crews, public works crews. They showed up, and they're working to clear piles and piles of stuff, as you mentioned. Nearby residents say this has affected the entire neighborhood, even real estate sales. And we're told a man and a woman live in the home, said to be a mother and son. The woman reportedly in her 90s. Items like old doors, lamps, boxes, and laundry bins are piled in front of the home as high as eight feet. The homeowner's been cited for code violations multiple times in the last decade with neighbors filing complaints with the city for years now. And we've been talking to neighbors out here. This is what a few had to say about it. It's definitely a nice word to say the least. And it's disheartening to see, you know, you come back from work and then you kind of have to look at this as you drive into your driveway and go home. He definitely needs help 100% because the one that he's collecting is not really reusable. It's 100% garbage. Meanwhile, the city attorney's office says the homeowner signed a right of entry, which allows crews to clean up the area, which is exactly what they're doing here this morning. Neighbors say it's long overdue. Back out here live, another look at the activity in this Koreatown neighborhood. Neighbors also say it's become a fire and health hazard with bugs and rodents making their way in and out of the piles here you see on the front lawn. So they've made some progress. Earlier, the sidewalk was completely covered. That's been taken care of, and they'll be out here uh, for most of the morning and through the afternoon. But all, it, it grants they're cleaning up now, but also becomes, are they going to provide some help to this, the people living in the home so that this doesn't happen again, Mario? Yeah, that's still unclear. We tried to reach out to the mother and son who live here, and uh, we haven't heard. We don't know if they're home right now, but even if we tried to knock on the door and get, uh, get someone's it. attention here, you can see, yeah, it's completely covered up here. So that is what neighbors say is a complete uh, fire hazard here. Some of the windows on the other side of the house are covered as well. Uh, goodness me, what a state. And, and it just gives you, uh, you feel quite terribly for the people that live there what they must be going through, clearly in some distress. Uh, all right, Mario, thank you. I'm sure there's a lot of cameras. There's been a lot of interest in that story. Uh, good to see that they're making some headways.